Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are still in the Phoenix area. Uh, Going to be here for another uh, couple of weeks or so. It's been kind of rainy and gloomy the last couple of days and um, kind of wanted to tackle a project that's been on my mind for a while and um, I guess no better time to do it than when you can't be outside because of the rain. So, I think it was back in June of this year we were uh, driving along, we had pulled over for the night, and Shauna comes back to the refrigerator to open up the uh, door to start making something to eat. And the entire door uh, came off in her hands, literally. And any of you who have these uh, Norcold refrigerators like this, I guess maybe any brand that's similar to this, uh, this is the, the kind of the smaller RV fridge, uh, it suits us fine, but uh, one of the things that happens to these things, especially if you overload the door, which apparently we did, these hinges are really not manufactured in a way to support uh, any kind of load. I mean, they're just plastic. Um, so what happens more often than not, this is the, for the freezer up here, this bottom hinge will crack and break. And then, of course, I mean, it's uh, just kind of hanging there. And that's what happened in our case. The, the hinge on the bottom here snapped off. You can see it kind of cracked along here. And um, I kind of clued it back together. Uh, I got online on, on YouTube and found a, a YouTube video that kind of showed how to do a quick fix. And some people use it as a permanent fix. Uh, I don't want to use it as a permanent fix. Uh, these kinds of things just kind of eat me up. So I um, decided to get a whole new door and get some reinforcement hinges that, that slide in place here and takes place of this piece of metal that I fashioned uh, and taped to the bottom of the door with some um, 3M VHB tape uh, to kind of act as a support um, until now. So I found the door, the hinge hardware, and uh, what else? I think that was it on Amazon. 148 bucks for everything. So today I'm going to fix the door. All right, the hinge hardware is pretty straightforward. There are just two pieces that uh, are this shape, one for the bottom of the refrigerator door and one for the bottom of the freezer door. Uh, the freezer door doesn't take a lot of uh, load, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace that uh, hinge anyway, um, or, or install this reinforcement hinge on the bottom of the plastic hinge on the freezer, and of course on the new door that I'm gonna install. Pretty straightforward, just basically clips into place. And there's a, a washer that you use for a spacer. And uh, let's see, what else does it take? Basically a flat blade screwdriver and a uh, Phillips screwdriver, and that's it. I can't imagine taking more than about uh, 10 minutes to do. And, um, you know, the hardest part is basically just taking this door apart and uh, taking this handle off. And then this piece of uh, trim slips off, this whole door panel slides out, and then the screw comes out, and then the whole door just uh, lifts out that way. So I think it should be pretty easy. First order of business here to get this old door off is to take this screw out that's right here on the top hinge, and it's not in there very tight, so you just kind of wiggle the door a little bit like this, and unscrew this screw on the top hinge, and it's just that simple. There's the screw. Door kind of comes out like this and lifts totally off. That's all there is to that piece of cake. I'm going to flip this door over here and show you the repair that I made. And all I did was just fashion up a uh, piece of aluminum strapping that I got from Home Depot. Uh, I had a hacksaw on board and just drilled a hole for the hinge and uh, taped it to the bottom of this uh, the door frame and it held up well uh, as a temporary fix uh, I think that's an awesome way to go and um, you know cheap uh, cost me maybe 10 bucks for everything and um, but yeah like I said um, it's kind of been eating at me to have this fix uh, as a temporary fix and and I just don't know if it's going to hold up you know overall for you know a very long time so might as well just get it fixed All right, here's the replacement door uh, it does come uh, with everything you need except of course the inside uh, bins and all that I'll just swap those over and swap the handle actually reinstall the handle from the old door to the old the new one and uh, 
this trim piece comes off, this will all come off and I'll take the uh, front cover uh, and then slide that back in place, snap this back on and we'll be ready to go. All right, so first let's get this bottom hinge on. And again, it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's just uh, you know, a fairly substantial piece of uh, probably a stamped steel. All right, so I had the door flipped over. Uh, this is the bottom hinge. And uh, this is the little the new reinforcement plate that goes on the hinge. Pretty easy, just slides into place like this. Up and over and right on top of, of that, that plastic hinge. Pretty simple. Now that I had the refrigerator door reinforcement hinge in place, all I need to do is turn this upside down, fit the door back in place, and reinstall this uh, screw in the top hinge. And that's it for the refrigerator door. Uh, with the exception of putting the handle on and sliding the panel in place. This is the bottom hinge for the refrigerator door and the only thing that you need to do when installing this hinge upgrade kit is put this washer on this post and that's it. Pretty simple. Fits like a glove. Actually opens and closes a lot better too. It's the same process to install the reinforcement hinge on the freezer door bottom hinge right here, which I'll do in a minute. So the only thing left to do now is to put the door panel in place, remove the door handle from the old door, put it on this, and um, that's it. The process to replace the door panel is pretty simple. Um, and it really doesn't matter what kind of door front you have. Uh, ours happens to be a stainless steel. Uh, it's a metal, which is nice because it's magnetic. Uh, I would imagine the wood grain or white, whatever, are, are exactly the same in terms of replacement. Pretty simple. Just pull off this trim piece. Just like that. And then the door panel slides into a slot in the bottom and the top. Pretty simple. Like that, just make sure it's all the way to the back side of this slot. And then your trim piece just gets snapped back into place along the track. You can feel when it snaps in, it goes in the right, the right track there. Just press it into place all along the edge. Get that final little snap. There it is, just that simple. Get the door handle replaced here in a second and we'll be done on the refrigerator section. Okay, here's the door handle. One thing I noticed over time, if anything, uh, you know, kind of leaks out of the freezer and kind of comes down or drips onto the, the refrigerator door handle, like in our case it has, this, this will kind of um, stick, which ours is sticking. So just wash that in some nice uh, warm soapy water and you should be good to go. We've got the door handle all cleaned up. It moves nice and freely now. Pretty simple reinstallation of this. There's a tab here on the handle and there's a slot here on the door. They just line up, uh, slides right into place. And then two Phillips head screws to secure it you know, back on the door frame. And that's really it. Um, really simple process. Again, uh, if you haven't already, uh, certainly would recommend um, at least replacing your hinges as long as your bottom hinge isn't broken because uh, it'll certainly uh, you know, help um, longevity of that hinge and uh, does give it some extra stability so definitely a must do. The freezer door is much simpler uh, basically the same process just open it up I'll take it off of the frame up here just slide the other reinforcement bracket into place and just put it all back together the same way as the, as the bottom door. Okay for the freezer door it's basically just duplicating that process that I did on the bottom door uh, except I don't have to take the door apart slide the panel in or out any of that so it's just taking this uh, top screw out, lifting the door out. Here's the uh, stud on the bottom. I had that adjusted a little bit before because when I put that replacement or that, that uh, hinge that I fashioned for the bottom door, I had to kind of adjust the door so they would close properly. Here's the washer, goes on that hinge. Here's a reinforcement plate for the bottom hinge. Again, just slides into place nicely over that. 
Pretty simple. And it's just a quick reassembly. And that's it. They open and close like a charm. And hopefully I won't have to worry about those hinges breaking uh, in the future. We'll leave the description of all the parts and components that I used in the description of the video. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Uh, I know these parts, they fit several different models of Norcold refrigerator. I would recommend you going to the Norcold website uh, to check out what parts fit your refrigerator prior to ordering. There are a lot of things on Amazon. And I would imagine if you can't get it on Amazon, you could probably order it right through Norcold as well. But uh, yeah, uh, pretty happy with this. Pretty simple fix. Um, just another thing off my mind that I have to uh, repair on the rig. Uh, hey, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave any comments. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, consider doing that. We'd certainly love to have you along and uh, have you part of our Lou crew. Uh, so that's about it. Until next time, see ya. Mm -hmm.